you know, we, they've, they've endured, they've persevered, they've been resilient. Um, I was hoping that we, we shot the ball pretty well in the first half. I was hoping that would continue in the second half. Obviously it didn't, um, you know, but the thing we've done is they, they haven't quit. They, they've gotten way better on defense. It's your fourth of the last five teams that you held in the fifties. And, uh, and the other one was West Virginia, which was in the sixties, which was at that time, I think they had the last five games they had scored in the nineties. So, um, you know, the defense playing hard, I thought we moved the ball pretty well. That I just wrote on the board. It's pretty simple, guys. You know, one, this is what I expect. Now you got to expect that. You got to play hard. You have to defend at a high level, and then you got to share the basketball. And and I thought we moved it pretty well. I thought we had a little sticky fingers second half, and and tried to make some plays that weren't there. Uh, credit to to Steve and their team, uh, because it's been, they've had a long week. They they're missing their probably their best player. Um, and they battled, and I thought defensively that was as good as they've been, uh, especially in the second half with Harris's pressure, Jackson's pressure, really bothered us. And uh, but uh, and then also just Mike McGurl uh, was was big time. You know, not only got the ball, in, you know, against the press, he made the free throws, hit a big three. Selton swung it finally. We're all yelling, one more, one more, and Selton. After he passed it, he said, "Please, Mike, make this thing." And that was a that was a huge three to kind of push it ahead. And then Dejuan had after the good start, you know, he gets some little fouls and has foul trouble, but he comes up with a big steal down the stretch. And then he makes you know makes that one free throw. But a good team win. Selton, great line, uh, nine points, seven assists, five rebounds, only two turnovers. Um, just, you know, it was, it's just a good team when three guys double figure salt with nine, you know, last time we played them, beat them. Uh, we were a little more efficient offensively, uh, but uh, we had four guys in double figures. So, and then we, you know, obviously we're, we miss, miss Antonio, um, you know, just to him, for him, his sake, he's, he's endured a lot since last uh, summer, uh, really since the spring when he, and then when he came back, he's, He's had a lot of health issues, and um, you know it just it it's just kind of taken a toll on him. And uh, so you know we just uh, we just for his sake uh, we just felt it was best that uh, you know right now it looks like he'd be done for the season. So, uh, but um, he's Tone has given us a great effort. He's played his butt off, dealt with a lot of different things, and um, you know so it's uh, it's. It's tough to be without him, but we just got to make do and get the most out of what we got. So uh, go to Kansas City. Got a tough game. Uh, TCU, it was the last game of the year. You guys talked about it the other day. Uh, a year ago, it's it's come full circle. It was a close, hard-fought game. Uh, that, uh, And then the, if you think about the game at our place a year ago, tipping at the buzzer at Kansas City, it was close. Even at their place, it was close down to the wire or down to the last few minutes. And then the game here at at um, at Fort Worth a few weeks ago, our, our guys really grinded it out and got stops when it counted. And so you, you expect a tough, hard-fought game. And uh, I hope our guys just go and play their butts off, have some fun, and who knows, maybe we'll even make some shots. Thank you, Coach. Appreciate the opening statement. We'll have our first question to Kellis Robinette. Hey, Bruce, with Antonio, is he just injured or stressed or something else that kept him just, out today? Well, just total health issues, yeah, total health issues. So he's had a bunch of things he's endured and just, uh, you know, wish, you know, wish we had him, but uh, it's just the season's taking a toll. Well, without him today, you went pretty much exclusively four guards around Davion and Casey. How do you think that worked, and is that something you'll keep doing at the Big 12 tournament? Yeah, there's there's no doubt that we'll continue that. And yeah, we did get beat on the boards pretty uh, soundly today. A lot of that was in the second half when we just didn't shoot it well and and then miss miss some free throws too that allowed them to get to you miss eight free throws. So now they're getting some of those rebound defensive rebounds, but. Um, you know, it, it, you know, we just obviously got to help. You don't get in foul trouble. We had a little foul trouble that we had to overcome. 
a um, little bit of fatigue uh, that we had to overcome and just just make the best of it. They they are they're troopers. Um, they haven't quit, and um, it's you know I, I hope they come with that same with high expectations to Kansas City and they play at a high level. And just overall, how much would you say this team has improved since day one? Well, I had President Myers talk to them after, and he's it's great to have him back. And you know he obviously with COVID. Uh, you know, his normal coming in the locker room and being around the guys and going on road trips, he, he just, you know, it, he, he couldn't do that. But the last few weeks he's been back, he's been in the locker room and I asked him to talk and he's a pretty smart man. He's an engineer. He drew a graph and he, and he, and he said this and he drew a line and he goes, this is where you guys have improved from the beginning to now. And uh, they've, they've made big strides and especially defensively. Um, you know, it, it, you got to give them some credit. You know, the, besides Selton, nine, seven, and five, Selton really guards, and he's he's really taken on that role uh, of really he's great on the ball. And uh, so it's uh, they they've they've improved quite a bit. Thanks, Bruce. Congrats on the win. Thank you. Next question to Michael Goins. Yeah, Bruce, just uh, want to know a little bit more about the entire floor game that uh, Selton Miguel produced today. Yeah, just it, it's great for him. I, you know, just I, I said his line, his stat line, um, and even at half, it was five to zero. And he had a couple turnovers the second half, forced a couple things. Um, you know, just got a little, you know, I, I was, I hate, I brag on him at halftime to everyone. Then he may be trying to make a couple too tough of plays, uh, but, uh, you know his his defense is uh, he's he's taking so much pride in being a defensive stopper. Um, you know rebounding at the beginning of the season he was getting no rebounds, one rebound. Play hard, that play hard chart he was getting one or two and playing thirty some minutes, and now he's up on that. And then just you know just having a better feel it gives you a third ball handler with um, with Nigel and and Mike, and it eases the pressure on those guys. And he delivered some really, really good passes, including the last one, which was maybe the easiest, to Mike in the corner, uh, which was, uh, you know, kind of a thing that got us a little bit over the hump at that point. How did you feel like you handled their full court man? Well, uh, you know, I'm proud of Mike. Uh, Mike, he kept cutting to the ball, and he wasn't going to um, – he was going to back down. And they, you know, even when we got trapped – uh, in that corner, um, you know, it, it. Our guys, they did. I thought they did a good job. We we struggled a little bit the first couple of times, but then we realized we got to cut a little bit harder. And uh, once we started cutting, I thought we did a a, a great job of uh, of like you know getting the ball, getting up court, and then and making our free throws. Thirteen for sixteen in the second half helped us ice the thing. Has Dejon Gordon uh, settled into a role where he's he's comfortable and more well, healthy now? I hope so, and and I don't know if he's totally healthy. I, I you know Dejon wants to always do better, and we keep telling him he's doing fine. And you know, twelve points, five rebounds, um, you know, couple steals, uh, play hard. He's our leader on the year. I didn't see who led us today, but uh, just a couple ticky tack fouls. Kept them, you know, out of there, and we need them in the game to get rebounds. Um, especially if we're if without tone, we're going to have to play small ball. You're basically playing Dejuan at the four. Well, it's, we've been playing Selton at the four for the most part, but uh, it's kind of a mix, you know, just depending what set we run. We gave Selton the ball. We got Selton in some ball screens and got um, some little bit of uh, got Harris off of Nigel. And Mike, he was causing fits for those guys, tried to get some switching actions. Uh, so, you know, both those guys kind of, they and Luke even a little bit, um, you know, they kind of alternate playing that four spot. You know, I know Luke hasn't scored much, but uh, he had a big rebound, got that free throw, and he's really done a good job of guarding. I, I told you guys before, he's got a little more spunk than I thought, a little more toughness. Obviously, we'd like him. We'd like him to make some shots, but uh, 
you know, hopefully that will, will come maybe this weekend, but I know it'll come in the future. And just to clarify, Antonio's still with the program? Yeah, Antonio's just, he's, right now he's got health issues and, um, you know, he can't, he can't be, he can't help us right now. So just, you know, we'll, we'll keep helping him and, and hopefully he can get through some of this. Thank you, Bruce. Next question to Ryan Black. Hey, uh, Bruce, just how much did the defensive game plan change when you guys saw and found out that Bolton wouldn't play? Did it change much at all? Well, we kind of, you know, we didn't expect him to play, to be honest, because when he didn't play Thursday night, they had to fly here Friday. If he didn't play Thursday night, it would be tough on a short little recovery to play, you know, on Saturday afternoon. But, you know, he he definitely gives them an, a really effective offensive player. He's really good with the ball. He's good in ball screens. But, you know, I think to their credit, you know, they've got adjusted. They're using uh, Harrison Jackson. Their their ball pressure is much better. Um, and then they, they're, you know, they're using – they got it inside today. They just – Credit to Steve. He just said, hey, we're going to go at you. And they kept going inside the young. And, you know, you, you got your spread. They, they, I thought the first half our pressure hurt them. And we didn't, get, we didn't allow them to get those inside touches. But a little bit later, we got in a little foul trouble. And uh, they did a little better job moving the ball and getting it inside. So, um, you know, it's just obviously a different look. Uh, but, you know, if you think about it, we beat them at their place with Bolton. And we beat them by a bigger margin. So um, I don't know. You know, it's, it's hard to tell. I'm sure they, they, they miss them, but it, it gives some other guys opportunities and they've stepped up. And then the other thing for me, Bruce, how much does it do for the team's confidence that, uh, that you guys basically led almost the entire game? I would say they only led for 36 seconds today. Yeah, it's, it's, uh, it's great. It's good for our guys. Um, that's the kind of thing I told them I expected them to do today to, you know, get off to a good start, uh, to execute, to defend. And, uh, you know, they did it. And I, I, I hope they still have that desire to continue making progress and, and get, you know, we get, get ready for TCU. And we know it's going to be a hard fought game. Thank you, Bruce. Yep. Uh, another question to Michael Bullens. Bruce, are you confident you can guard and uh, rebound with this four-guard lineup moving forward? I mean, you know, if you look at it, dejuan has been one of our better rebounders. Now you got Selton rebounding. Uh, we're gonna have to, we're gonna have to uh, gang rebound. You got, you know, you got three guys with with five. You know, and sometimes stats are deceiving too, because they turned it over 16 times. We only turned it over eight. So. Um, you know, we didn't have the opportunity to get as many rebounds because they, they had, you know, eight different possessions. We got turnovers or steals off of. So it's, um, I, I mean, I think we'll be fine. I, I really do. We, we've, we've, we've played small off and on all year. And uh, this is not the first time. So we just, we're just going to have to, you know, as I said, gang rebound and box out. One of the best things we've made improvement, as you know, um, we were just getting torched on the offensive glass uh, early in the in the Big 12. And we put, there's a thing called a bubble, you put it on the rim. And every day we do a drill where we play defense and you know the shot's not going in, so you got to block out. And if you don't get the rebound, you run. So it's, it's definitely got their uh, much better mindset of, uh, you know, of blocking out and doing a good job with that. 